Good morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Olivia Evans. And I'm Brock Plinkarte. Today is Friday, January 13th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first today's top story. Our Raiders team competed in a state competition for the first time in history. WSRH Extra reporter Adrian Murray takes us through the sweat and tears the team faced. <laughs> The Seminole Ridge Raiders team competed in the State Raiders competition for the first time in school's history, undergoing intensive training on the route to success. Mondays, we did extreme conditioning. We did, we did a five-mile run. We did, a, we did at least 50 push-ups between each mile, and we did like four sets of stairs. And other than that, we did push-ups, sit-ups, uh, running around with uh, gas cans, just 100 yards each time and just tire flip. Fueled with anticipation and excitement to compete in school's first ever state competition, the Raiders competed to the best of their abilities with excitement for the future growing in the process. Uh, I think it's a new day for the Raider team because now anyone coming or seeing Seminole Ridge show up in any event knows that they have to watch out for what we're gonna do when we get there. So I think being able to make it to states this year has actually put our name on the map. Uh, we can accomplish anything we put our minds to. We got so much talent on our team. We can do anything we could can. Although the seniors will not be returning next year to compete, they have nothing but faith and confidence in the future of the Raiders. I feel I feel fine about the future. I, I'm I feel comfortable just leaving it within the next team's hands. Cause we, yes, this is our first time making it to states, and this won't be our last time. Now that we know all the rules and regulations we have to do, what we have to prepare for even more. So other than that, I'm. As the Raiders dart forward in pursuit of greater success, we here at the Ridge will continue to support them. For WS Raiders Extra, I'm Adrian Murray. The girls lacrosse team has some high expectations this year and are looking forward to some new players. Conditioning will continue today and all next week. Tryouts will be held January 23rd and 24th on the practice field at 4 p.m. You must have your activity completed to come out. Attention all girls interested in softball. Conditioning will be for the next two weeks on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4 with tryouts on January 23rd. Conditioning is not mandatory. You must have a completed and approved Activate status to participate. Yearbooks are currently on sale for $120. There are just over 100 copies left, so students should order fast. Students can order the yearbooks at this price until May 1st. To order the yearbook, go to yearbookforever.com and search for Seminole Ridge. The final cash price for the yearbook will go up to $140 for students who wait until May, so act fast. Your book is also accepting submissions for any committed Hawks. Any athlete that has signed to a college for their sport, submit a picture to Seminole Ridge Yearbook on Instagram repping your college gear. Seniors, were you there when we took the senior panoramic? Well, that photo is now available to buy from Mr. Bell in room 7110. The photos are $10 each and are 5 by 10 inches. You can bring cash or check to purchase. Seniors, want to purchase your own space in the yearbook? Friendship ads are now available. For $40, seniors can purchase a spot in the yearbook to commemorate their friendships and leave a lasting message. These personal ads can be bought at yearbookforever.com. The last day to purchase these friendship ads is February 1st. Please see Mr. Bell in room 7110 for any questions. There will be an equestrian club meeting today, January 13th, right after school in Ms. Roca's room 6206. Anyone that is interested in horses may attend. The Google Classroom code is 4DD. UYH6. There will be a first priority meeting today in room 9103 from 3 to 4 p.m. First priority is open to anyone who is interested. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. Hey Olivia, who does everyone listen to but no one believes? Who, Brock? The weather reporter. Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Jesse Catasus with today's forecast. Hello Hawks. I'm, in today's forecast, we have a high of 78, a low of 41, sunny. Tomorrow, we will have a high of 58, a low of 36, sunny. To, on Sunday, we'll have a high of 64, a low of 40, sunny. On Monday, we have a high of 73 and a low of 47, also sunny. For WSRH News, I'm Jesse Catasus. We have a happy birthday going out to Anthony Morales, Trinity Lavery, Tyler Smith, 
Jada Gonder, and Logan Johnson. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. WSR sports anchor Adrienne Moyne joins us now at the sports desk. I wonder how our girls basketball team did last night. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Adrian Murray with today's latest sports updates. Let's take a look at how our girls basketball team did last night. Game last night against Glade Central. Our Lady Hawks came out on top with a final score of 71 to 23. The record is now 10 and 5. Rebecca Smith has been a part of the girls' weightlifting team since her freshman year. Despite the trouble she's had to face, WSRH extra reporter Leilani Firetag takes us to the weight room. When you walk into a high school weight room, you expect to see burly men lifting weights. Here at Seminole Ridge High School, we have a tradition here of girls' weightlifting. Not only do they lift weights, but also trophies. Last year, the girls' weightlifting team was runner-up for districts, and they hope to win this year. A big part of that win is little Rebecca Smith. Um, what sports do you like to play the most? Weightlifting. Rebecca has been a part of the girls' weightlifting team ever since she was a freshman. She had said to us that we always lose the 100 pounds, or we always we have a losing score, so we don't have anybody that's really light. So we said, oh, just we'll get Rebecca in the weightlifting to get us some points for the team. So that's that's where we went, and she loved weightlifting. Greg and Jacqueline Smith adopted Rebecca from China when she was just eight years old, and when she arrived, she had many health issues and has had to get corrective surgery on her leg and other areas to get where she is today. So she, basically she has like CP. So um, her left side works well, but uh, yeah, that, that kind of helped her with her weightlifting as well. So it makes her stronger. Her actions have not gone unnoticed. This past summer, she was presented the Courage Award, nominated by Alexander Locker. Yeah, she just acts as an inspiration to kind of the rest of her teammates around her. And she does that through her actions as well, not just through lifting itself, but also just through cheering on everybody. She's constantly that supporter that everyone needs, whether they're on our team or they're on some other team. She's constantly supporting everyone around her. With her condition, Rebecca will sometimes have a seizure before a lift and will have to take a break before she continues. She knows that she has one. She knows that there's certain things that she can't do as well as others. And she knows that there is the possibility of a seizure happening. But I don't even think it crosses her mind. She walks on the platform and it's not even something that she's, she's just thinking about. Okay, I got to get this bar up to my chest and I got to throw it over my head. Rebecca is a person who has had the odds stacked against her, starting from being a Chinese orphan to her disabilities. And she has not only survived these odds, but thrived. Um, that anyone can do anything, especially girls can do whatever. Don't give up in the, the best. Rebecca is a multi-sport athlete and is also on the school's bowling team. She continues to serve as an inspiration to her peers and coaches. For WSRH Extra, I'm Leilani Firetag. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, the girls basketball team have a Martin Luther King tournament. The time is to be decided. Competition cheer at home starting at 4 p.m. Girls soccer versus Glade Central, home 6 p.m. Varsity. Boys soccer versus Boca Raton away at 6 p.m. And boys soccer versus Boca Raton home at 7.30 for Varsity. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Adrian Murray. For WSRH News, I'm Brock Blinkerte. And I'm Olivia Evans. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Rich TV. Have a great day, Hawks.